welcome back. Uh, at least I assume you're coming back and that you've seen part one of my gym bag full of plushies uh, featuring a lot more Digimon than I thought. Um, so yeah, uh, originally I set out to show you guys this bag full of Pokemon plushies, but I soon realised that this side and the front was full of Digimon plushies, which I assume I ordered in that way several years ago because I haven't opened the main bag yet uh, because I don't want to ruin the surprise for myself either but I presume all this middle is full of Pokemon plushies if you didn't watch the first part I'll just give a brief rundown years and years ago since well since Pokemon was released in 99 over here in the UK I've been collecting Pokemon plushies um, so my mother very kindly one day bought me this massive Pokemon gym bag thing that I've never actually used for gym because I always just kept my plushies in here um, and it's remained like that ever since it's really nice quality and stuff so the plushies in here I have not looked at in at least 10 years actually thinking of it is probably nearer something like 12 or 13 years which may be the age of some of you watching this which is it's kind of a god damn I'm getting old that's it's just hit me now I'm gonna I'm gonna need a minute no I'm fine um so, yeah, I'm just going to delve in and see what's in here, because basically this is a way for me to be nostalgic about stuff and for you guys to watch along with me. The first up, we have a Squirtle plush. Now, I'm going to check the tags just in case these tell us who they're from, um, because some of the Digimon ones were uh, McDonald's. So I think I have some Pokemon McDonald's plushes as well. So... I gotta admit, this is a very good quality um, Squirtle plush. I've seen some of the plushes recently uh, they've put out that are around this size, and one of the Squirtle ones I saw did not look very good. I'll maybe try and get a picture to flash her up on screen. If I can't find it, I either just take my word for it, or maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Um, yeah, I'm really digging the Squirtle uh, plush. Squirtle was always my favourite of the starters, even as a kid. Um, and I probably have a few Squirtles in here. Next up, we have a Psyduck. Uh, as long as, as long as quite a fan of water Pokemon, as you'll probably see in here uh, over over the course of the video. But he, like uh, Squirtle, like a lot of plushies actually at the time, have bean bags in them to give them weight so they can sit down properly and not fall over and stuff which is quite nice. I'll move my uh, table back a bit and I shall delve in for a Seedra. Now, so the this has an interesting... Oh, wow. Because Seedra has so many sticking up parts, like when they're down, it looks almost pathetic. I mean, honestly, this isn't the best plush by any means. Um, like, the, the nose is off. Um, but, so these were Burger King plushes I think hang on let's see that says Pokemon something let's focus my camera Pokemon world that's interesting I assume that's not to do with so there's a there was a ah there we are Burger King there so there was a uh, okay where have you gone Cedra there you are um there was a magazine series that still occasionally runs over here called Pokemon world um it was unofficial, it wasn't licensed by Nintendo, but it was mainly Pokemon themed and then as Pokemon lost its uh, lost its relevance more and more, they just started covering just generic monster themed things. Uh, our next, ooh, our next one is Blossom. Now, at the time I thought this is one of the best plush I've ever seen. Admittedly, looking at it now, I think uh, manufacturers have stepped their game up, plushy-wise, since uh, the early 2000s. Because it's nice, don't get me wrong, you can easily tell it's a Blossom. But, that face. Uh, but it's, it's, it's quite a nice plushie. Also remember, as a child, you could do that. Which is interesting, because it's got two layers of flowers. Also, this is a hefty plush. This is This is pretty damn large, like... You know, it's the size of my hand. I bought this at a store we have in Britain called Poundland. 
uh, which basically everything in there was one pounds, which is more than a dollar. It's something like one and a half dollars or something, depending on the uh, depending on the you know rate. But which is astonishing at the time because it was like two thousand and one, two thousand and two, and I think I bought the entire set for something like five pound, which is insane because usually plushes uh, retail for something like five or six pound on their own. Ah, wow, this is a blast from the past. Okay. So we have here Oddish. His his face is really high up actually for some reason. Like well, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh also his his petals annoyingly don't have anything inside, so they kinda just flop around. Uh interesting. But the those of you with eagle eyes may have noticed there's a zip on his side. Why is there a zip on the side of Oddish? Well, you see, these, uh, which I also, I think, bought in a discount shop for something like a pound or two, which is insane. Uh, these are a line of Transformers. This isn't going to turn into a car or a really cool plane or a dinosaur. This is going to turn into a Pokeball, which, I don't know, maybe isn't quite as exciting as the other things I mentioned. Oh, hang on, let's see, can I do this first time? Yes, I can! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, no, okay, there we go, and now it's a Pokeball, and, oh, oh, that looks, that looks unfortunate, that looks like the Pokeball has malfunctioned somewhat, hang on, there we are, see, so, this is actually a really cool concept, I really like this, uh, at the time, again, I was eight, maybe, so, kind of, on the verge of going to the playground and playing with kids, so I'd take this along and be like, Ha! Well, I'm going to throw my Pokeball with my Pokemon that turns into Oddish. I'll be maybe, maybe not the best Oddish plush ever, but he looks pretty cool. I'm, I, I'm still happy that I have this. Uh, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, folks. It was getting incredibly warm and I had a jumper on, so I decided to take that off before I pass out due to heat exhaustion. Next up, we have another Squirtle. Oh, wow. This Squirtle's eyes are uh, very red in comparison to that Squirtle, which... That looks fine. <laughs> um, uh, wow. Well, I forgot how red its eyes are. Is there a thing from, like, the anime, maybe, or something? Uh, now, also, this Squirtle has a bit of a gimmick. So, not only is he a plushie, but... Crack open his shell, as you can do with any tortoises. Please don't do that with any tortoises or um, any animals with shells. Actually, just don't rip things off. Inside is a pouch. Uh, and inside the pouch are some coins from some country that my brother went to when I was ten. And I, th I think he bought me that squirtle, actually, as a souvenir from where he went. So this may not actually be uh, official or anything, but it does store coins from some country that if I do end up uh, looking up, I may be able to put on the bottom of the screen there what country is actually from. Next up from the bag, ooh, this is a quick one, is a Burger King uh, Ekins, I was going to say Snorlax, for no reason, uh, yeah, from Burger King, and I think it's the Pokemon World thing again. The same deal as Cedro, basically. He's not the best looking, really. He... Wow. Yeah, I th I think I bought this at a car boot sale because it was like 10 pence or something. And at the time, my goal was to collect all 150 Pokemon in plush form. Dear God, never try that. Especially because, well, even if you just do 150, that's going to cost you quite a lot these days. Uh, next up... Ooh. Hello! Okay, I've kept the tag on this one. So next up is Pikachu, uh, back when he was pretty darn plump. Um, you know, for, for those of you who don't know, Pikachu used to be a lot fatter than he is now. He's a lot more athletic looking in the modern anime, uh, and in the modern games as well, I think. Uh, but yeah, for the time, he was very pudgy and stuff. And we actually have the original tag here, which... Wow, well done, well done like ten-year-old me for keeping the tag. Uh, well, it's meant to be like that. Well, it's made by Hasbro and stuff. Yeah, so this is the tag and the the box design for the original run of Pokemon stuff. Um, 
which oh god is really nostalgic now with sort of just basic red Pokemon and Pikachu jumping up like that. Wow, this is actually a very good Nick Pikachu plush. I'm quite impressed. Uh, right, let's grab the next one, which is... Aha! Right, so this is... Uh, it's not a Mothim. What is it? Um, Venomoth. Hey, okay. Wow, I actually forgot what Pokemon this was for a second. Uh, very nicely printed wings, actually, and fangs and little hands and the i'll just show you the whole thing actually because then i don't have to give you small uh shots of each of it as with the other two burger king ones it's kind of it's fine it does the job you know what pokemon it is but you know if you're gonna if you really want a good plush you're gonna have to buy it somewhere else can you get a good venomoth plush i mean is there a big fan base of venomoth anyway uh, this comes with the original thing, which is the Pokemon World Medallion thing. So I think the point of these was you could hang them up, I think, in like the car or something. Um, or, you know, on a however you want to display it, really. I think maybe they connected or something together. Uh, I can't quite remember. This, I think, is the only one I ever got from Burger King myself. I think everything else I bought bleh, secondhand from other people who just you know, gave up on Pokemon, weren't interested anymore. Uh, right, I will pull out one more and then I'll probably do a third part to this because this is getting really long. And the third part, wow, with another tag, that's incredible. These were, uh, great, treat, ah, oh, treat something, trappers. Wow, these were filled, hang on. No, okay, come on camera focus these were filled with delicious wonka tart and tinies wow i can't believe i actually kept a tag that's incredible what are these called treat what oh oh this has got kind of wet and stuck together i don't really want to force that because that'll just rip it i think treat keepers is probably what they were called uh, that's the item number, if anyone wants to order one of these. That was the net weight. Also, it's called candy there, which makes me think that this was an American import. Because um, we call it sweets over here, not candy, really. Uh, well, occasionally we do, I think. But anyway, the cool thing with this polywool uh, poly is, as with the other thing... Oh! You can open it up and pull out basketballs! Yay! Why do I have a basketball in polywool? What is that basketball from? Um, <laughs> okay then, well, let's end it on Polywool. Um, and the treat toppers, well, well, a treat keepers, not treat toppers, that makes some sense. Cool, well, I'll be back for a part three because this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Stay tuned. <laughs>